So in this video, I want to talk about making it really easy to say hi to somebody, to start a conversation and what goes into a really solid open. And in this week's video, we're going to make the opens something you can do as a practice. So simple to understand that next week's video will be that much better. And what I mean by that is next week's video, we're going to add some banter aspects that you can practice, but I don't want you to practice them until you've nailed this video down, until you've got it down really well. This video is about less. It's about doing less and less equaling more. And it's a powerful concept. And it's one that I want to illustrate with a simple principle. My friend Eric many years ago said that when he first opened women, it was really difficult and challenging. Hi didn't work. When he'd walk up to women and say hi, it didn't work and he didn't understand why. So he learned banter, he learned humor, he learned to crack jokes and he got conversations going by being hilarious, funny, humoring, and then learning to calm down in the conversations, relax over time, and then learning to meet women that way. And then as he got more comfortable talking to women, he got really good at approaching, he started to go up and just say hi again and hi started to work. It was really that simple. He'd walk up, say, hey, what's up? And girls would respond to him. He'd say, hi, look at him, smile, open his heart, and girls would enjoy his conversation. Really that simple. Why did that happen? In this video, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna get right to the root cause of how he said hi, the third thing he did there, and get to that right away and start teaching that first and then go back and add some banter and humor next week if you're really interested in learning that stuff. And I think that stuff can be very valuable for busting through walls, getting girls attracted, but it's much better when you understand this principle that we're gonna talk about today first, okay? So make sure you stay to the end because all the pieces in this video are very important and I want you to be able to wrap them all up and put them together and go out and practice right away. It's a very simple practice, but don't underestimate it. Now, one night I was in a bar in uh, in in uh, Santa Monica, and these guys came up to me. They recognized me from my YouTube video, and they said they were having a horrible time opening women in the bar. They just weren't responding, and they said, "What's going on? What's wrong?" And I could feel them leaning in. I could feel them rushing. I could feel them pushing, and they were really young, really young guys. And I said, "It's really simple. All I want you to do, and to fix this problem, and I, th I thought it'd be nice, is I want you to slow way down." I want you to look me right in the eye now. And I had him practice. Look at me. No, nope, too much tension, too little tension. Okay, back, narrow it. Okay, good. Now, with a firm handshake, when you say hi, I want you to give me a good firm handshake. And I want you to calmly say hi and then pause for a second or two. Hey, what's up? Hi. You know, I just had to come over and meet you. You know, there's something about you. I had to come say hi. Anything they wanted to say, anything that was natural, didn't matter what they said. They could, they could even say a banter line, I don't care. But at the end of that, just relax. Relax into the chest, relax into the body. And um, for those of you that have trouble understanding what I mean by that, check out my full body scan meditation. It's a great meditation teaching you how to feel your body. So the key is to not think, it's to relax and feel your body and create just enough tension to cause a reaction. Tension causes a reaction. So in this video, we're gonna look at the three simple steps that are so easy, sometimes people miss it or don't realize they're not doing them. And I'm gonna explain it to you right now, and then we're gonna add some uh, three other steps to it to make it all work, okay? So the three steps are pause, feel the body, and calm down. That's why the body scan meditation is so important. You just gotta pause, feel your body, and calm down. So as I look at the camera, I'm pausing, I relax, I feel into my chest, I feel into my stomach, I feel through here, I feel my legs on the ground, I just relax. Step number two, you calibrate, you stay with the camera. So, as I look at the camera, I can push too much, I can be like, hey, what's up? I can be like, too wide, hey, what's up? Or I can go in and out, just like a camera lens, until I find that perfect sweet spot where I feel tension between me and the camera, and then I let the feeling of the camera flow to me. It's gonna feel like it hits my heart, my stomach, it's gonna feel like it comes inside of my body. And then I can have an emotional reaction because I can feel it now. So now when I've got that feeling, I can say, hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? How's your day going? How are you? You know, I'm curious about something. Hey, what are you drinking? Hey, you know what, I love your hat. Or you know what, that hat is a little, you know, it's interesting. You know, it doesn't matter what you say. You can walk up and say almost anything. You can get into banter lines, which I was almost thinking about doing, but I didn't want to do now. I want to wait till next week. 
or you can just stay really simple. And that's what I would prefer you do for this week. So step number one, calm, relax. And step number two, create that perfect conduit of tension between you and the person you're looking at. And then step number three, relax your voice. A lot of people, they go, hey, how you doing? My name is Brian. They rush and their voice goes up. I want you to relax. I want you to feel down again, the center pillar of the body, all the way down to the stomach when you re and relax your voice. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I want you to feel your heart. Hey, how you doing? Where, how's your day going? What are you up to today? Hey, where, where are you going today? Hey, uh, it doesn't really matter. Just hey. And stand there and kind of wait for a second. Hey. That's better than the last day, isn't it? I started to rush. That's a perfect example. I started to rush because I wanted to get the point across. I can slow down and say almost nothing. I can walk up, smile for a second, and just kind of hang out. And then I can be like, hey, what's up? And I can start to play a little bit more. I can start to have a little bit more fun. So all of this works, okay? None of it is, is necessarily bad. It's about the calmness. It's about the centeredness inside of you. You know. Where are you guys from? You guys look, uh, you don't look like you're from here. Or you guys having a good time tonight? This place is nice. And you relax into that voice. So the three step process is very simple. Calm and relax, create this conduit, and then relax your voice. Let it get a little deeper, let it get a little bassier, whatever's natural and low for you as you feel down into your body. And again, if you're not sure how to do this, do the body scan meditation for a bit. It'll help you to relax into your body. Now, what you do with that is very simple. You just practice this week saying hi to as many people as you can. And you can ask them directions, you can ask their opinion, you can just make a comment, you can throw a compliment. But what I want you to focus on for the week is the conduit and relaxing and enjoying the people. That's really it. So as I walk up, I'll say, hey, what's up? And then I relax. How's your day going? You having a good time? Or, hey, what's up? You guys like this bar? You know, something like that. Or, hey, how you doing? What are you, what are you guys drinking? Anything, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but the step is, hey, make the statement. And then the next part is calm and relaxed. That's what you're gonna do. So you make the first high and comment, and then practice relaxing. Hey, what's up? How you doing today? And then relax for a bit. Take your time, don't rush. Don't let them rush you. This is the mistake almost everybody makes. They start to rush at this point because they want to get the next sentence out because they're afraid of the silence. So I want you to take a moment and just kind of sit in that silence and just calm down for a second. Then I want you to listen for their response if they say something. If they don't say anything, say something else if you want, but say something honest. But most of the time, if you pause, if I walk up and say, hey, what's up? And then pause for a few seconds, somebody's going to say something. They're going to say something like, hey, what's up back? Or how's your night going? Or hi. And if you're really grounded when you say it, they're probably gonna feel like they open up a little bit. If you're not, they might close. It, it, it varies from person to person. Sometimes you're open and people are close. That's just the way it is. So the next step after that is uh, if they say something back and they say, hi, you know, what, what are you up to? Then I want you to say the most honest thing you can say. That's step number two of the communication part. What's the most honest thing? A lot of people think stuff like, damn, you look really sexy in this outfit tonight. But instead of saying that, they don't say it. They say, wow, your outfit looks really nice tonight. And they come up a notch. And you can probably feel me come up a notch. So actually say the honest thing. Hey, you look really sexy in that outfit tonight. I just got to tell you. And notice that the honest thing is going to get the best response. Now, if you have trouble saying the honest thing, you're really nice, you're really sweet, maybe you're a little terrified to do it, then I want you to do something else. Let's say you're out on at the mall and you're asking where Starbucks is. Then ask where Starbucks is. But ask it in the most calm-centered way possible. Hey, excuse me. Pause. And they go, yeah, can I help you? You go, do you know where Starbucks is? Notice I didn't go, hey, do you know where Starbucks is? And came up, I came down. Hey, do you know where Starbucks is? I am totally lost. I am not from here. And then relax. Again, work the pause. Work the calm part relax into it. So with everything you say, you're going to say it with presence. You're going to say it in that relaxed voice. And then you're going to do the calm, relax, and feel your body afterwards. Then you're going to say something else. You're going to say it with the conduit, with the presence, with the relaxed voice. And then you're going to calm. Then you're going to relax, calm, and pause again for a second. Then you say something else. And with each sentence, each thing you say, you're going to use that 
that moment of pause to recenter yourself. You're going to calm yourself. You're going to get focused again. That is the goal. Okay. I want you to practice this all week. And it's okay if you stick to boring stuff. If you actually get in the feeling, the boring stuff won't be as boring. I had a client once who was really good at connecting. He'd walk up to women and say, hey, I just had to say hi to you. There's something about you. And he'd do this on the, on the street every day. And it worked. The girls would get sucked right in. They would be so excited by him. But then he wouldn't know what to do. So he'd go into his head and think, think, think. And he would kill the connection. And then he'd reconnect as he spoke. And then when he stopped speaking, go in his head, think, think, think. And so to help him get past this, we did one simple exercise. Go in, stay connected, do what you did. Hey, how you doing? I just had to stop. You had to say hi. And when it comes time for the pause, don't think. Just stop and stay in that connected space. Trust that your body will know what to say next. And when you say something next, actually to make it even easier, just say something boring. How's your day going? What are you up to? Where do you work? What do you do for a living? You know, whatever boring conversation you want to have, but say it with presence, say it from your body. And sure enough, the first conversation he had hooked in right away. The girl pulled in with him and really started to connect with him. I gave him a secondary assignment. I said, the first woman that connects with you and really stays connected because I could see how much you would connect. I want you to ask her to go home with you just as a practice. She'll probably say no, maybe she'll say yeah, but it's a win-win either way. She'll be turned on that you asked and you'll, uh, you'll get to push your boundaries. So he went in, he did exactly that. Hey, paused, calm and relaxed. She connected with him, he enjoyed her. I said, so what are you out doing today? Oh, I'm shopping, I'm on vacation, I'm doing X, Y, and Z. Oh, cool. Paused, calm and relaxed. Well, and then he said something else, I didn't hear it. He kind of went from there. Paused, calm and relaxed. And then she started leaning in more and more. She was getting very curious because he was feeling his whole body. He was sitting in his turn on. He was enjoying her. He was curious about her. He was really focused on what he was feeling and not worrying so much about what he said. And then towards the end of his conversation, he leaned in and said, Hey, you know, you're, you know, you're just enjoying the day. I'm enjoying the day. Why don't we just go back get a bottle of wine and uh, go back to my place and I don't know, we can relax and enjoy the evening together. And he looked at her and paused, did the calm thing again, relaxed. And then suddenly she leaned in and goes, I don't know, I have a boyfriend, but maybe. And I watched immediately, he popped up, went into his head, oh, okay, I get it, uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you later. And he did the whole racing, everything went to shit. And then he walked away. So then I walked over to him and I said, what happened? I saw you pop up. I saw you break out. He told me the whole story and I laughed because he did it just right. He just couldn't handle the ad attention when she agreed to come home with him. Now that's not going to happen every time. Matter of fact, I didn't even expect it to happen that fast, but it happened and it was really powerful and it was a powerful lesson for him. From that point on, he started getting regular dates. He was getting dates all the time. He realized what he was doing wrong. From that point on, you can start to work on your more creative conversation. You can keep it simple. So the assignment is to go out and work this pause, work on feeling your body, calm down into your body over and over and over again. After everything you say, recenter, reground, recalm, recreate that conduit, find that spot, feel the body, feel the calmness, recenter yourself. And if you do that after everything you say during the silence and you practice just letting her in, you're going to see some growth in a short period of time. I promise you. And then you can come back for the next video that I'm doing next week. That's going to be on developing your banter skills naturally. And you can start to learn to develop those banter skills naturally. And you can start to add it in to this. Matter of fact, a lot of that banter will start to come out of you naturally as you start to learn to stay calm, keep the conduit, stay focused and stay relaxed. Now, remember those guys I talked about in the beginning of this video. They came back to me later in the night at that bar and they said, oh my God, women keep talking to us. Before we couldn't get them to talk to us, now they open up and they talk to us and we don't know what to say. We don't know how to continue the conversation. But it's amazing that just that little bit caused them to relax and get more comfortable with us. Thank you. And so the next step for them was to help teach them how to continue the conversation. Okay? So this video is solely about getting the conversation started. And if you stick to the boring topics and really focus on feeling, really focus on the feeling of curiosity, turn on, which comes from the hips, 
your personal power, receiving them in that pause, that's where the magic is going to happen. As you get better at that, you can start adding more complex conversation skills. Don't expect everything to change overnight. But if you do this every day, whether you're asking somebody the directions of Starbucks, you're telling the girl she's cute, you're telling her she's damn sexy. Um, as Anthony would say, one of our coaches, you look damn sexy in those yoga pants. Uh, that's that's <laughs> the first time he did this where I really taught him to, to push that sexual boundary because I knew he could do it. He was ready for it. That's what he said. And it nailed. And he was shocked that it nailed. Um, it doesn't really matter. This piece, this pause with the conduit and the presence is everything. Okay. And then from there, you start to build more freedom, more expression, more openness, and you can still work the pause because you learn not to think so much. And that's what makes this work. That's the magic. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I want you to check out my previous video on the full body scan meditation, which will help teach you how to relax in the body. And that will be good to do along with this practice to help you get more present with the beautiful women out there. Also check out our website if you want to learn more about our events. This is the last year we'll be doing these events at least for a while. We're taking a break. Uh, thefearlessman.com slash events and you can check out uh, the experience or there might be a link in this video directly for a page for the experience and that's our flagship workshop teaching you how to do all this stuff live in person with a beautiful woman where we break you down on camera and we really look at your subtle communication and show it to you in high def video so if you like this video make sure to like make sure to share make sure to subscribe make sure to comment and so you don't miss and the like and the share or excuse me, the like and subscribe is so you don't miss a single video because I'm trying to put out better and better content for you guys all the time to help you change your reality in this area. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Remember, only the confident really live. Talk to you later.